guys want to know how I created this look, keep watching. First, I'm going to go in with this cream. It's called Soul Sense, and it's an intensive covery cream to kind of fix any dark spots you have in your face, which I do from sun damage when I used to work out. Just put about two pumps in your hand. Next, I'll be putting this Neutral Luxe Lash Serum on my eyelashes, and they help my eyelashes grow and stay thick. Try to get it in there. It says not to put it on the bottom, but I just put it on anyways, whatever's left on the brush. I don't know if it's helping. So this I made on my own, and there is cinnamon oil in here, and MCT oil, coconut oil, and um, the reason why I used MCT is so it stays liquidy. If I use the regular coconut oil in the winter, it just kind of hardens up. And what I do is I use this on my lips too. So while I'm doing my makeup, it kind of gives it a plump and it's that cinnamon that's in there. So Next, I'm going in with this Milani foundation and it is in the color Sand Beige 6. And I have, this is a new bottle I just bought because I'm running out of my other one. So I'm gonna use the open bottle that I have right now. And I'm not gonna be using um, a primer. So this is kind of my everyday look. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys and talk with you as I get ready. What I like about this concealer, it has, um, well, I mean foundation, it has um, concealer in it. So it's a two-in-one. I mean, I'm still gonna put concealer under my eyes, but I just like the coverage on this. Yeah, so everything I'm using is kind of my everyday thing. Just to kind of my everyday get ready with me look. I put this all over the place, everywhere, you name it, I put it. Next, I'm going in with this concealer by Coverfix. And I love the coverage it gives me. That's why I always use this one like every day I wear makeup. Just put a good amount on. And then I think I told you guys before, we Islanders, Indians, Fijians, we have a lot of major dark circles, but mine are not that bad like some people's, but I see it. And now that I'm getting older and I'm not sleeping enough, I'm, it seems like it's getting worse. Not the dark part of it, but it just starts to like sunk in my eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna use this little beauty blender. And what I do to keep my um, concealer on longer, I'll get like um, any setting spray, and this is the one that I'm gonna use because there's only a tiny bit left. So I'll just kind of wet my dirty concealer sponge, which I probably should wash. I have a million sponges, but I don't know why I like this one the best. Let me just kind of get that everywhere. And why I like using the setting spray is because I just feel like it doesn't crease and it stays on longer. So if you guys haven't tried this yet, try it. And use whatever setting spray you want. And everything I'm using today is like, not no expensive high-end makeup. This is just my regular everyday look. Um, I think we're gonna go out to eat today. So nothing fancy, just somewhere just to spend time so i thought why not film make a little video for you guys which i haven't done in a long time and i am so rusty so bear with me i really need to get into this more and i'm recording in my bathroom <laughs> so you guys can see i'm just trying to figure out places that where i feel comfortable recording in the house and the lighting is good here because i have a window right in front of me it gives me a lot of natural light too. Okay, so that's all. Before I set my under eyes with powder, I'm gonna use my bronzer, and this is the one I'm gonna use by Sonia Kaushik. And this is in the color Goddess 40. So I'm just gonna bronze, bronze everywhere before um, I put my powder on too. This is, like I said, this is just my everyday look, not going out, so I'm just gonna Keep it simple. Just because I wanted to record for you guys, it's been like ages since I did a makeup tutorial. It's, this is not even really like a tutorial, but I don't know, I'm just getting ready with you guys. I'm just gonna chisel that out. 
I know a lot of us gained weight with this pandemic because it's so from stress and whatnot, I'm sure, and not being able to go to the gym because the gyms were closed, but now they're open. I just can't get into it anymore. I mean, <clears throat> everything's changed. It's just not the same. I mean, we're all kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, we're all kind of split apart now, our friends and stuff, because you have to make reservations to go to the gym, so we're not all going at the same time, and it's just not motivating at all. I don't know what I'm gonna do, so. I'm just gonna kind of bronze here. I don't know, I'm thinking I just might get a treadmill and just start working out at home. I'm just not motivated anymore at the gym. We'll see. So that should do that. I'm gonna get my little brush. I bronze everything with this. I even contour my nose with this. So I'll get a little brush like this. No specific brand. I just kind of rub around in there and just kind of contour my nose. Then when I put the powder on, it all blends away. So it looks more natural. And when you go under your nose with um, contouring, it just kind of gives you that lift. I have a lot of nose to work with. My dad was the one with the long nose. <clears throat> the long, sharp nose. Just kind of blend it in there. I'm going to set my under eye with this powder by Revlon Color Stay, and it is in the color 290 Natural. I love this stuff. I forgot to tell you guys that I'm recording from my cell phone and I ended up getting a call. So anyway, so just kind of get it on my brush and under my eye and just kind of pack it on. So it kind of sets that concealer and, you know, gives me extra coverage over there too. I'm just kind of get in there too. I still have that watery eye issue, which is this eye that I'm working on and it's trying to water on me. Um, but I've just gotten used to it. I'm just living with it fine. Okay, you see that gives really good coverage. And it doesn't crease or doesn't make my eyes look dark underneath or anything, so. Oh yeah, what I was telling you guys, I seen it on a video, I think it was one of Carly Bybell's video that she did, and um, she used this powder under her eyes, but she had used the Bare Minerals foundation. Oh, that's what I should have used today. Okay, tomorrow, let's try to make another video tomorrow. And then um, I'll do that look, and it looked really good, but then of course, you know, she's like uh, 30, and I'm like 47, so. <laughs> A lot younger so but anyways let's get to the next product so next I'm going to powder my face up with this Smashbox powder and the color is light medium and I love this powder I'm gonna use a powder puff because I'm gonna just like pile it on there and then kind of brush it off later Next, I'm going in with this very loved blush, as you can see, and it's by Madison Miller, and the color is Sweet Stuff. So kind of get the apples in the cheeks. This translucent powder here by um, CoverGirl, and it's clean, professional, and it is 115 translucent medium. So I'm just gonna only put this under my eyes because when I'm gonna do my eyeshadow and if I have any fallout, I could just brush it off because I already did my face first. So I'm just gonna get it on the puff. I'm just kind of that. I was using that airspun before, remember? But I don't know, for some reason it started drying out my skin. So then I found this one and I like it. Let's start on the eyes. I'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette today because like I said, I'm just using random makeup for now. I'm not doing anything special, so. Yep, so I think, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the eyes, so I think I'm just gonna do whatever and see what comes out. 
so I'm gonna use this color here. It's called Storm Dust. So I'm just gonna put this in my crease line. It looks super dark on camera, but it's really not. I'm gonna go back out, back in and blend it later. So I'll get it all on there first. Soften it up a little bit. I'm gonna go with Lunar or Lunar Ex Eclipse. I was gonna say Express, it's Eclipse. So I'm gonna go right above that, right above the storm dust. Hope it's not too pigmented, I don't want it that pigmented. Just do a little put the color right above it. Go back and blend it. Do you know this whole um, pandemic? Like, I wore makeup, but not really intense makeup, maybe just eyeliner and mascara. I'm like, totally forgot how to put eyeshadow on. This is gonna come together sooner or later. It's gonna happen. Okay, I'm just gonna bring it up. I'm gonna do the eyebrows as soon as I'm done with the eyeshadow and stuff. I'm gonna go in with Fireball. I'm gonna try to do it with my ring finger. Let's see how that comes out. And that's gonna be on the eyelid. It's kind of like a two-tone almost with the different lighting on it. Yeah, I didn't even know what I was gonna come up with, but it looks nice. I never know what I'm gonna do when I come in front of my when I sit in front of my makeup mirror, I, I never know what look I'm going to come out with. On my bottom lash line, I want to do this blue color. Let's see how it comes out. And I'm going to kind of wet the brush a little bit with um, that finishing spray. I'm just going to dip my brush in there. So that way it kind of stays on. Just use my watery eye issue. I've gotten the brush a little too wet. brush off that powder that we put under the eyes. I know it looks really bold right now, but I'm gonna put um, eyeliner on the top lid. And then finish off my, um, I'm gonna use this eyeliner pen by L'Oreal in Playable. That's what it's called. It's called Flash Cat Eye. So it's black and I'm just gonna put that on the top. noise it's because I opened the window because the room was getting hot this is a new neighborhood so construction is still going on the houses are still building so we got a lot of construction noise here okay I'm gonna go in the waterline not with this but I'm gonna use my other L'Oreal gel eyeliner since the eyes came out pretty bold. The gel eyeliner that I'm gonna go in my waterline. <sighs> I need to get my camera set up together. It's like my phone is just ringing off the hook and I have to keep stopping. Ah, <sighs> I wasn't planning for this eye makeup to be really bold, but it just kind of happened, so. Anyways, like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do till I get in front of this makeup table. So, let's go. Tight line, I guess they call this. And why am I using this one and not that other one? Because that other one, for some reason, is not waterproof for my eyes. It says it's waterproof, but not for my eyes. This one is more waterproof, especially with the watery eye issue I have. Okay, we could, we're gonna do our eyebrows next, or my eyebrows. <laughs> so have you guys ever heard of this it's called gray away and normally you would use this on the roots of your hair when it's grown out to cover those grays anyways it doesn't really work on my hair why I don't know um, so I was gonna throw it away and I thought you know what I'm gonna use this on my eyebrows one of these days and this is a light brown slash medium blonde 
So I have to kind of wet it a little bit to give me a deeper look. And I'm gonna wet it with that same setting spray. I'm just gonna wet the brush with it and just kind of swirl it around and just kind of do my eyebrows. I know it looks weird, my eyebrows are not done. So um, yeah, I'll show you the finishing touch. So this is what it looks like. And then with the brush, already wet in there, I'm just gonna mix it around in here, wet it up. My head might be too low because I'm trying to look at this mirror. Anyways, you guys look, kind of get the idea. You're just gonna fill in your eyebrows, basically. Since I don't have any eyebrows. I mean, I do, but it's super thin, super light. That's what happens when you get older. Getting older sucks. I'll go back and kind of fix it, but I wanted to show you guys what it kind of looks like. And it stays on all day. Definitely a difference. Let me finish the other eye. Now the eyebrows are done. They came out really nice. I'm gonna do the mascara last because sometimes my eyes keep watering and then I gotta keep dabbing my eye and I don't wanna mess it up. So next we're gonna go in with this um, Too Faced highlighter. And I'm gonna use this on my cheekbones, my nose, under my bra bone. Bra bone. <laughs> and um, then we're gonna do uh, the lips and then the eyes, very last. So I'm gonna go in with this color called, why is it mixed up? It's supposed to be vanilla. Okay. It says chocolate, but it's actually vanilla, and you could tell that's my favorite color because I just like that gold a little color to it. And just kind of the sun is shining through that window right now, and you can see the sun on me. I'm just gonna kind of go under here and out. I'm putting a little bit extra on because we're gonna go out later so i want my makeup to last and i'm gonna do my inner tear ducts also with this i think same little brush like i said i'm not doing anything fancy today i'm just doing what i would normally do if i'm gonna just wear makeup and go to the store or whatever i must leave the house with makeup it's just me I was digging in a drawer for a lip liner and I came across this one, which I didn't even know I ever had. It's called a Peel Gel Liner. And um, the color is called Sugar and Spice. So I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna use, for lip color, I'm gonna use this one by ColourPop. It's called Lippy Sticks. And the color is Grunge. Let's see here, so I'm not, because when I have to come forward too much, I think you guys can't see. And then with that sun right there, you're really not going to be able to see. So just kind of lean back. Not much. Not sure you can see anything with this. Huh. Maybe that's why I've never used it. Not digging the lip liner that much. two everyday mascaras and I think it's by Rimmel it's scandal eyes the orange one is the waterproof so I use that on the bottom lashes and this on the top lashes because I don't like to put the waterproof on the top lashes because it's hard to get out I'm thinking about getting eyelash extensions I mean I have long lashes but not long like you know eyelash extensions but what are you guys thoughts on eyelash extensions let me know in the comments is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Is this damaging? What do you guys think? I've heard mixed reviews. I've gotten it in the past when they first started it and I guess the girl was new and it was not a very good experience because my eyelashes fell out with the lashes. So I don't know if that's still happening. Have they upgraded since? My hands are all sparkly. Um, I don't know let me know what's going on but like I said when I first got it done it was a long time ago. Sam was a baby so Let's say 15 years ago, that was a long time ago. But yeah, I like my lashes, but I just want them longer and fuller. 
So I got my mascara on. I'm really liking this look. What do you guys think? Well guys, this completes the look. Um, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe. Um, also, uh, I haven't done a hair video and um, I actually got my hair done on Friday, see my eye week, so that's why I was waiting to do the eyes last. Um, but yeah, so I got my hair done on Friday and she threw in a bunch of highlights. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but I didn't wash my hair today. I washed it yesterday, so I had it curled yesterday and I don't wanna apply heat to it again. I don't know if you guys can see back there. Sorry, I'm not farting. That's actually my chair. <laughs> but yeah, that's my hair. It's getting healthy. But um, I've noticed it's thinning out a lot too. So I don't know if that's an age thing too. So you ladies that are over 45, please let me know. What do you guys use? I mean, I use the best shampoos. Um, I don't wash my hair every day. I try not to use heat every day, which I don't, like maybe once a week or maybe twice a week. And, um, you know, I do the best I can to take care of my hair. But you know what? I think why I'm losing a lot of hair or it's thinned out a lot is when I got those tape-in hair extensions um, because when I have them removed, they kind of like ripped out some of my hair. So some areas it's shorter, but yeah, I mean, it's growing, but yeah, I think that's what happened. So it's probably gonna take a few months to kind of fully grow out. But I really like my color. It came out really good. Um, the, I don't know how it looks in this lighting, but the highlights are really, really light. She got it. This is like super light compared to what I normally have done. But I like it. So we kept the base like, um, I'm going to say like a medium brown to a dark blonde, I think she said. And yeah, so that's what's going on with my hair. When I wash my hair probably on Wednesday, then I'll do another hair tutorial with you guys because I want to get back to um, creating videos. I want to get, you know, back to YouTube. I know life has just been really crazy, you know, this year for everyone, not only me, but you know, for you and I, all of us. So, and you know, like some of you know that we had just bought a new house and um, we moved in in April. So it's just a lot to do. I mean, all the unpacking is done. So I'm just kind of at the um, decorating stages. So. <laughs> Um, my living room is pro well, we only have one great room. So that's probably like, I want to say 95% done and it's all gray and silver and white. It's really pretty. So I'm going to do a video on that too, once it's complete. And then upstairs we have uh, an open loft. So I just ordered, um, a sectional couch for that, a comfy one from Ashley furniture. So that's going to be our everyday kind of sit, sit down room because the, great room I kind of made formal I just got carried away let's just put it that way I got carried away <laughs> and when the grandkids come I have to like pick up everything and just kind of put it on the counter so they don't knock my candles off the table and you know all the stuff that I worked hard for that I bought so you know they're kids they don't know so anyways and my kids when they were little I always had my um, house decorated so they knew from the day they came out of me not to touch mom's stuff, which is so funny. But yeah, they never messed around with my things. But you know, when kids, they're not around, you know, things like that, they are they think it's a toy. They're gonna walk, pick up your candle holder and walk away with it and probably shatter it. So you can't get mad at them, at them for that. So, you know, I mean, I could keep, you know, the rules in my house. No, you don't touch this, but there's, you know, my, my grandson, you know, he's still very young, you know, once he's older and understands then He'll know not to touch grandma's stuff. <laughs> but then we have another grandbaby on the way in February. So then we're going to go through the stages with him too. So yeah, we're going to have two little boys. Oh my goodness. And I have a feeling there's going to be more boys as we go. So anyways, um, thanks for watching this video, guys. I wish I could do my hair with you guys too. But like I said, I already used heat yesterday. So that's my hair. That's the makeup look. We just kind of threw everything together and um, made this look. I actually was going to put blue eyeliner on my top lid, but we ended up doing the blue on the bottom. I don't know how that looks, but I don't know. It looks okay to me. Well, guys, I'm going to go edit this video and I'm going to upload it.
and please don't mind the background, my towels and stuff. My, I haven't even started decorating my bathroom, but I believe it's also going to be gray and white. I'm just kind of in that theme right now. So I ordered a nice big rug for my bathroom and it's going to look like marble floor. I wish this was marble floor, but we didn't get to choose our colors. Everything was already chosen for us. Otherwise I would have chosen the marble floor for sure. And um, same thing with the kitchen countertops. I would have chosen a white countertop instead of the granite gray, because the granite gray, you can see your handprints. The moment you put your hands on there, you see the prints, you know, and I'm always like wiping it because I can't stand seeing that. I, I have OCD. I am realizing I have OCD. If something is not straight, I have to go and straighten it out. If there's a handprint somewhere, I have to go and wipe it off. It's funny, but I don't know. It could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, as long as I'm not doing this in other people's houses. So if I do it in your house, please tell me, uh, Sanji, calm down. <laughs> so anyways, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I'm gonna try my best to keep uploading videos for you guys, whether it just be like, hey, this get ready with me kind of video or hair or just, just talk, whatever, you know, I miss you guys. And I know you guys are probably here. <laughs> Probably wondering where she goes she's not uploading any videos trust me I did not forget you guys um, I just took out my camera and all my camera stuff out of the bag so I'm gonna start using my actual camera because I've been recording from my cell phone and I've gotten so many interruptions while making this video and you guys might notice where I'm talking about something and then all of a sudden I talk about something else because I forgot because the phone call came through so Anyway, so I want to get my camera set up and I haven't found an area yet where I want to do my recording on a daily or whatever. Um, but I don't know, I might just move around the house. I might record all over the house, who knows? But this was a nice area to record in the bathroom. The bathroom's nice and big. I mean, it's bigger than what you guys see. The shower's over there and the bathroom's over there. The closet, I have a huge walk-in closet in there. So that's a pretty good sized bathroom. And, um, what else? Well, I got nothing else to say, so if you guys want to ask me anything or want me to create a look or something, let me know. And um, yeah, this weekend is Halloween. I haven't done any Halloween looks. Like I said, life has just been up in the air. It's just been really weird. So I don't know if this is me or do you guys feel the same way? Like, I'm, I just can't get into it. But anyway, don't forget to subscribe. All right, have a blessed day, guys. Bye. With this translucent powder here by um, CoverGirl, and it's clean, professional, and it is 115 translucent medium. So I'm just gonna only put this under my eyes because when I'm gonna do my eyeshadow and if I have any fallout, I could just brush it off because I already did my face first. So I'm just gonna get it on the puff. I was using that airspun before, remember? But I don't know, for some reason it started drying out my skin. So then I found this one. And I like it. So let's start on the eyes. <laughs> 